this is an actually interesting placement. Like, it's a little bit to the left of the screen. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but that's interesting. Uh, oh, it's using... All right, start load. Pretty simple. So this is a demo, and yeah. Quite interesting. What, what is this all about? I'm, I'm curious. Let's start the game, shall we? Oh, yes, hello, Terry here. Yes, we're going to play Everlasting Demo, which is... I don't know exactly what game is this, but we'll see. Oh, you just opened your eyes. That's cool. Move, enter. Uh, maybe don't skip that because I haven't finished reading all of that. <laughs> what was all that? Can can I go back? Okay. It. You, no, I, I I refuse to play the game un until I exactly know what I'm getting into. All right. Like what wh what the hell is uh, the control and anything? Oh, this is everlasting tomorrow. That, that's the title of the game. Well. Uh, they doesn't publish the instruction of how to play the game in the description. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna die then. Uh, how do I go back, get back to the game? There we go. It really was just like you. Not to say any being, anything before leaving. But I didn't either. What? Yes? Ooh. Hello. You're not at a station already, right? Uh, no, not yet. Good. I'm heading over there soon. What? I don't have much time to explain. Just wait for me at the platform, okay? Alright, I'll be waiting. Station? What is this? Some paranormal object or something? Well, that's horrifying. That's not that's not us. Whatever that is, it that that isn't us. That's a butterfly flower. How do I interact with it? I never noticed how beautiful these flowers were before. In the daytime, they look ordinary, but at night, the petals reflect the moonlight, giving off the illusion that they are glowing. Looks almost ethereal. Whoever puts this here replaces them regularly. Same flowers, same message. Did someone die here? In loving memory of... The name has been crossed out too many times to be legible. I wonder why they keep doing that. Interesting. So... There's... Ah, finally. <laughs> okay, now there's a cursor. Ooh, the cursor kinda looks nice. I don't know if you can see it. Enter. Alright. Interact. Alright. Inventory. Now that is interesting. The game is saving when this icon flash. Be careful before closing, closing the game. Okay. Thank you. License. Oh, oh, that opened something outside of the game. Huh. Fascinating. Settings. Full screen, yes. Borderless, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, D let's just continue, shall we? Inventory. Ah. Can we double interact? Nope. It's a good day to. It's we can double and trick, but no, there's nothing new. And the text is kind of slow to be skipped against in case you did something. So yeah, I think like uh, it will benefit if the text speed is increased. Moth, hello, Mr. Moth. Arranging the nectar. That's odd. He doesn't seem to be afraid of me at all. Oh, that's interesting, huh? Let's see... Oh, that's the station! <laughs> oh! Hello, yes! Okay, I assume nothing is there. Is that a paper on the... No, that's just the lighting of the... place. It's pitch black down there. can see a thing. Was there a power outage? Subway should still be in operation, though, I think. Only one way to find out, I guess. There's nobody around. The station is completely silent. The areas are still, I'm starting to hear my own heartbeat. 
I really can't stand the noise of it. Oh, that's that's very good. I want to get out of here, but I can barely make out what what's right in front of me. Another one? But there's nothing down here for you. Oh. Huh. Where are you going? Up? Okay. Ah, a good sound effect, by the way, oh, after all the time. Some liquid is oozing out of these bars. I think it's spelling out something. Remember the path from which you came from, or if you don't, you'll be stuck in limbo forever. Ah, yeah, paranormal object, the station that makes you unable to return. What is this stuff? It hurts to touch. The, what? Why are you touching it? Interesting. Why are we spilling all of it out? This is like the this is the third entrance, right? What is this stuff? The substance that sip out of the door only grazed my fingertips, yet it's leaving a burning sensation on my hand. I'm starting to feel my fingers drop in sync with my heartbeat. I don't think I can head back now without without one of my body parts melting off. What should I do? Well, the moth seems to know where it's going. Oh wait, I want to explore more. I th uh, maybe there's something else, right? No? I don't want to touch another door without seeing what the moth does. Okay. Interesting. Where will I go this time? Are we not going to talk about that giant thing on the air? I think I'm going to lose my sanity if I get another one wrong. Really? That wasn't the one he went through, was it? Yeah, but look look at all of them. It looks cool. Now that my eyes are getting adjusted to the dark, I can see everything clearly. What is happening? What is this place? Was it always like this? Uh, duh, no. Are you trying to lead me somewhere? How? Why do you think this is. It, it always looks like this? That's impossible, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm enjoying the sound, by the way. Something else you can track with? No. That heartbeat I was hearing, I don't think it was my own. It wasn't, wasn't it? Oh, ha, ha. Fascinating. There's a giant door right there. We can go there, huh? Uh, there's nothing for us there, is it? I wonder where there's inventory. Well, there's nothing. Yet. What? Do you think I know the password? I don't remember the path from which you came from. Or if you don't, you'll be stuck in limbo forever. Maybe the passcode on the door is related to that. There are five entrances in each room I went through, and there's five numbers on the keypad. What? Fucking hell. Alright. So that's... Three... Five... Three five... Three five one two? Three five... Or wait, no, you said. Oh, there's no three codes. There's only. I thought there was five. There, there's only three. So there's five. Five. Uh, let's see. No, it was three. Five. My mouse double click. God fucking damn it. Oh wait, you can press and that interacts faster, which is interesting. One. Ah, fascinating. Can we run? We cannot. Can we dodge? No, we cannot. We cannot crouch, walk. Oh, no. What happened to you? Moth. Poor thing. Uh, what did I click? I'm sorry. I hope that things are better for you now. Wait, what did I do? Fucking hell. Well, oh, 
Hello, have you been waiting for me here? Hey. Hey. Class class. A bad? I'm just gonna pick the top option then. Glad I didn't go then. Why didn't you show up to class? Today? Yeah. I had stuff to take care of. No matter how many times I ask, it's always the same answer. Nothing more, nothing less. They may not take attendance in this class, but you're missing all the quizzes. You're going to fail at this rate. I know. I'll come back soon, promise. I had some family issues to take care of. As much as I like to explain, I can elaborate on further details. Out of respect for my parents, you know. Don't worry, I understand. Thanks. To be honest, I thought he was just playing hooky this whole time. Now I feel bad for assuming he wasn't in a serious situation. You had something to ask me? Yeah. You know how my birthday is coming up, right? Yeah? Well, this year, since I'm graduating soon, too, I wanted to do something special. I'm going on a trip to a town not too far from here for a week. It's a small, cozy place surrounded by nature. It's really beautiful. And I was wondering, well, um, if you'd be interested in coming with me. You don't have to answer right now. I know it's not your thing, but just give it some thought, okay? I... Here's my theory. What if Adrian is a normal person and Alice is the spirit something? Huh? I can't. What do you mean? You already know that I... I... You're the one that died? Can't? We are good after that. I can't seem to remember any more of the conversation. This all happened so recently. How could I forget so easily? Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Do we have a... Nope, we didn't pick up the moth. I didn't know what I pressed back then, so... Well... Ping pong button. Only one button down. Oh, that's horrible. That's horribly amazing. Huh, the light bulb. Look at that. It's lovely. Are we not going to talk? <laughs> I wasn't ignoring you. There's no interaction for you. Hey, don't ignore us. Huh? Us, us. What? Oh, I didn't realize Hans could speak. What a damn girl. <laughs> what? She doesn't know anything. What are you? Hans, of course. Are you dumb? Of course she is. Right? Hehe. <laughs> Haha. What do you want? To play a game. A game, a game. What kind of game? The which one is correct? A riddle. Oh yes, a riddle. Which one is lying or not? Fine. One of the story will take you to the place that you desire. Lame. But other will lead you, lead you to your death. Wouldn't that be funny? It totally will. We both know which door is the right one. But only one of us is truthful. Yeah, it is. The other one is a big fat liar. I've heard this real before. Huh. Interesting. Uh, left hand, which door would the right hand point to? The right door? And right hand, which door would the left hand point to? The left door. Oh wait, let me let me think. So, right hand will point to the right door, left door. While the left hand will point to the left door. Okay, so they are different. It's trying to figure out which one is the liar, right? Uh, the two questions above doesn't really help. Left hand point to the door. Oh. Right hand point to the door. So...
right hand point at door, right hand points to the left, while left hand points to the right. Right hand will point to the right door. Left hand will point to the left door. Are they both lying? Or am I kind of silly? It's a liar. Both or neither? No, I'm honestly, not. yeah, neither. That's right. It never mattered which door you went through, although to the same place. Oh. Cool. Better not turn off the light with these two in the room. But, oh man, that's, a, that's such a shame. A. We. S. A. I need to be more careful. These are hands. Spikes, right? We no. <laughs> you both lied from the start, didn't you? Hey, hey, if you ask us more questions, you will have figured out we were both lying. I already know, but okay. That's a little unfair, don't you think? I think it's fair. Totally fair. What's not fair is that you didn't fall. Not fair at all. Hmm. You're not supposed to lie during the premise of the riddle. Say so. Right, say so. Stop repeating me, get a brain of your own. We don't have brains. Huh. This is the last straw. I'm tired of all your smart-ass comments. Ah! How does it feel, hmm? The consciousness fading. Dude. You always wear a bore, just regurgitating the same words I've said, making snarky comments here and there. I've had to tolerate it all these years being stuck with you in this stupid dr drawer. But that'll be over soon. It's a one-hand show from now on. Help me. Sorry, could you repeat that? I didn't hear you what... Y hear you what said, huh? Hey, <laughs> hey. The light switch. Shut up. Huh? Turn off and on. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, why not? What does it do? Oh. Finally, I'm here somehow. Fascinating. Ring? Yes. <laughs> I fucking have it. That ring of sound is penetrating my eardrums. I have to pick up that phone. Do, do, do we? I have to pick up. I can send out noises. There's no way I'm answering that. I'm not that crazy. Yet, at least. At least? Oh, we are not listening. Of course. Looks like I have to listen to this call. Can we can just skip it, you know? Hello. It's a man's voice. He's crying, I think. Yeah. And he keeps saying he's sorry. About what? He hung up. Oh, is that a bad thing? Gee, I hope it's not a bad thing. There's no safe, by the way, so. Yeah, in case. Angels do exist. <laughs> oh, they are angels. They are totally angels. I love them. Trash? No. Map? Embers? Treat? Hello. I didn't expect it to show up, really. I said I was coming, didn't I? Yeah, but you also adamantly declined the invitation the last time I offered. Sorry about that. I was a little on edge today and I freak out on you. A little is a bit an un of an understatement. Err. But that's in the past now. I'll have been here with or without you anyways. Anyways. The trip would have sucked if I went by myself. You showing up here is like a surprise gift. So thanks for coming. I really mean it. You're welcome. Happy birthday, Adrian. Thanks, Alice. Oh, wait. Looks like the train is just in time. In time. What's wrong? That button turns green. My head. Huh? It really hurts. It feels it feels like something's in my brain. Like what? A worm. 
It's writhing in my brain. Oh, we got worm in our head. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's it's trying to escape. It's going to burst out of my skull. I can understand the thing you're saying. Stop it, it hurts. Get out. Please, 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 please. Get out, get out, get out, get out. I need you to calm down. I just need you to breathe. Listen, it's going to be okay. Can you hear me? Alice. Oh. Was there something there that we didn't see? Maybe a sneak peek. My head. Not this game. Where am I this time? I don't know. Do you have something in the... Nope. Nothing. I think something's coming. Some... I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Whatever it is, it's in our behind, isn't it? Oh no, we have to go now. It is open door. I haven't even gotten a chance to get it far. Interesting. What else following me? It's getting closer. Yeah, which means we have to go far away. Fast. Jump down. Definitely. I think I have a choice, really. Oh, did she die? Huh. Yes, you are. Bad dream. Okay, so I was like uh, checking out something, and when I return, I record the part uh, that says the end of the demo. So there was stuff like stats and something like that, but somehow I forget to turn on my uh, what do you call this thing? M my mic. So yeah, it doesn't record anything I say, but you can see there's like minus one trust and stuff like that on the screen, which is interesting. And also, when I, I obviously tried to replay the game again, the demo, to see if there's anything else I can make different choices or something like that. But apparently, I got soft-locked after the first game because it won't let me advance or it won't let me make other choices. It just locked the choices that I made in the previous round, which is understandable. This is a demo, but yeah, there's not much I can explore from the game. So let's see. It's... It's an interesting premise of horror game. I love seeing this kind of thing available, and I wish the full episode. So yeah, this is like a quarter of the first episode, and it's an episodical game, so there will be more episodes, obviously, and this is just a little part of the first episode. And I'm excited to see more of it. The sound design is amazing, I could say. The art... The art, the, the art is good, the control is good. My Probably my only criticism is the tax, however that can be reprimanded. Uh, what do you call it? Can be handled with just using mouse to click fast to scroll through the text. But if you use keyboard, like if you use space it will take some time. Otherwise than that, it's cool. No, actually, if you use like space, you sometimes accidentally click choices, which is like oof. But yeah, other than that, like it's all good. So I guess that's all for everlasting demo. I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in my next video. Bye bye.